At this time, we take a brief moment for the youngest members of our congregation in our children's message. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about prayer. What do you pray for? Or what have you been praying for? Maybe you have a very specific prayer which you've been praying recently, or a specific thing you've been asking for from God. But maybe you only pray, pray at mealtimes or for bed, or maybe you don't pray very often at all. Well, today we're going to talk about prayer, not just because the Bible tells us to pray without ceasing, but because the reading we just heard from Romans tells us that the Holy Spirit prays for us. Whatever you pray for, sometimes it can be hard to find the right words to pray. This was true of the disciples. They came to Jesus and said, Jesus, could you teach us how to pray? It seems like they didn't know all the right words to say either. And when the disciples asked them, asked Jesus, he told them to pray this prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. So Jesus told them exactly the kind of way that they should pray when they wanted to talk to God. And that's all prayer really is. It's talking to God, telling him how you feel, telling him what you need, just like you tell your parents how you feel, just like you tell your parents what you need and want and anything that's on your mind. But even with prayer like this, with the Bible telling us to pray all the time, it can be a little difficult to think of things to pray at every moment of the day. It can be difficult to think of ways to pray or the words to say even. But that's why our epistle reading today, the reading we just heard from Romans, is such good news. In that reading, Paul tells us that even when we don't know the words to pray, even when we're not very good at praying or don't feel like we are, the Holy Spirit, God's Spirit, prays for us. He's praying for you right now and for me and your parents and your grandparents and everybody in the world. The Holy Spirit prays for us, Paul says, with words that are so deep you can't even hear them. They're, they're groanings, Paul says. The Holy Spirit prays when we don't know what to pray. And you know what? How about right now? I pray for you too. I'll join my voice to the Holy Spirit's voice and pray asking God's blessing upon you and all of your prayers. Let's bow our heads. Dear Jesus, thank you for the gift of prayer and for the gift of the Lord's prayer, the prayer that you taught the disciples and us when they wondered how to pray better. Help us not to be afraid of prayer, but to come to you with everything we need. Help us to feel comforted by the knowledge that even when we're not good at praying or feel like we're not good at praying, your Holy Spirit is inside of each and every one of us praying for the things we really need. Help us to trust that he will pray for good things for us each and every day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.